No, that's just true. Has anybody got any questions? I found uh, one, of his, one of his wrap up pieces in uh, Time or Newsweek that just referred to two journalists being reunited in a, in a Thai concentration camp and referred back to the fact they'd been parted at the time of, of the fall of Phnom Penh. It's kind of intriguing. And I wrote to the New York Times, and they very kindly sent me blacks uh, of the, all the pages that had happened, the contemporary pages in 1973 through to 1975 that dealt with the story itself. And from that, I was able to pick up, from the actually the reportage, I was able to pick up roughly what had happened. So I went over and I saw Schamberg, and he filled me in on the rest of it. And I made an offer for the rights. And he said, well, unfortunately, I've already agreed with the New York Times to um, uh, do a composite of the whole tale which they're publishing uh, in a couple of months' time. And there's already off uh, interest from other studios, that terrible word. So I said, look, all I can tell you is I'm very interested, and uh, when the time comes, will you remember me? So uh, sure enough, he wrote the piece, and it was very, very well received. It became quite famous, actually. And um, I got a note from his agent saying, did I want to make a bid? And I kind of opened the piggy bank and got the knife out and, and bid literally as much as I could. And I <coughs> discovered that my bid was the third. I think it was six or seven bids, and mine was the third largest. And to my great good fortune, he decided to appoint a movie agent uh, to advise him on what to do. And the movie agent said that his advice would be, despite the fact that my money was not, not, the, not the highest, would be, uh, he thought that Sydney would be most pleased, or most likely be pleased, with the result if he went with me.